hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function and the function we are going to discuss today is table dot group you might have used group by in power query using the menu this function does the same job so what does this table dot group function does so table dot group function helps you in aggregating a table a certain group buys and aggregated values so basically certain values will group by and some of them will get aggregated like sum min max average and all those so what does this function takes so this function takes a table then it takes a list of aggregated column and list of the column which we need to group so basically you can say my table is the last step table name or a table coming from the another query then you can use the list of aggregated columns on which you want to group by and then the list of column which you need to aggregate so let's look an example and try to understand it better so basically if you see here this is the table which contains customer id and price and what we are doing in the table dot group function we are giving customer id right now we are giving only one but if we have more than one we can give a list customer id and let's say item id and group id or something whatever column we have then the second one which we are doing is basically we are giving a column where we are going to get the aggregated value the new column where we are going to get the aggregated value and to get that aggregated value we are using this function or this expression which is each list dot sum of price so each list dot sum dot price now here don't give the table name because if you give the table name it will sum up it as a list which is containing the complete table and the column values means it will sum up this entire one so that you don't have to give so never give the table name so from the last step we are not giving the table name now here if you see the result is basically it's giving the customers grouped so you have the customer one here you have the customer one here and this is 20 and this is 10 so this becomes 30 now customer 2 is 10 and 20 again it becomes 30 here customer 3 is last two rows 20 and 5 which is 25 here so only two columns it is returning so this is the same thing which we are going to try out on power bi there we are going to do this step using the functionality which is available in the menu which is group by and then later on we will go ahead and do this into another table where we are going to add the group buys and the aggregations and multiple group buys or multiple aggregated column and check this out so let's jump onto the power bi now this is how it works so let me go ahead and showcase you this on power query so i have opened my power bi and in power bi i'll use transform data and under that i'll use transform data to reach to power query now here i already have a sales table and if you know that under the, under the transform data we have this group by and if you use group by you can choose a, a column let's say city id and in the advance you can choose more than one let's say item id and then you can have let's say sum of quantity and you can have similarly more columns and you say okay so what happens is basically it goes ahead and use this function table dot group by here you can see the table the first argument and why the table name is like this because it's going to take it from the last step and then uh, you have the city id and item id as a list which is group by and then there is another list where we are saying you know sum of quantity for each list dot sum quantity and type and then this is one argument and you can give multiple such arguments so let me cross this down and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the same operation in a new table i'm going to show you this functionality of group by so we need to remember these column names so let's create a new blank query so i go to the home tab i go to new source and inside the new source i'm going to use the blank query and once the blank query is there we can rename it by right clicking rename or double click rename and let's call it group i'm calling it as group one 
and now right click open advanced editor and here we can write down the code so we can say table dot group now I can use the sales table here sales comma the list of uh, the columns which you want to group by so the columns are city space ID comma another double quotes item ID then we need to give the aggregate column again a list so in this one we are going to give the name first which is basically sum qty comma each list dot sum and we are going to use qty column without table name everything is fine let's go ahead and say done and we are getting the grouped data now if you want to add another one either we, we can go ahead and do this advanced editor let me copy this create one more list here add one more angular bracket here then put a comma paste the script close one more angular bracket let me say average cost and let me say list dot average and let me use cost and let me say done let me use small c because the cost was small c so that's why it was giving errors so now we are getting the average cost so you can group on multiple columns you can aggregate multiple values and in this manner you can create a grouped table now the table can be grouped within the same code where the table you're bringing from the last step or you can go ahead and create a new table and where you can group the data from this table depending on the requirement so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you